Good morning everybody, my name is Michael Fox and I'm here to do a Funko Pop unboxing vlog. It's going to be all Dragon Ball Z stuff. I have uh, like four or five pops to unbox. Um, I did film a video like back in July where like I unboxed like 20 different Funko Pops, all the Funko Pops that I had bought uh, that month. Um, and I felt like it was just too long so I just I scrapped that entire thing. Um, and I think I'm just going to do them in some different stages. Because uh, I'm a big Funko collector. As you can see, there's there's a there's a ton more up on the DVD case that's like right next to the... Um, I got way too many. And they came out with some really cool brand new Dragon Ball Z ones um, just recently. Uh, and those are the ones I'm going to unbox and show you guys. I know everybody's here probably for the unboxing of this... Um, this flocked Beerus. I honestly have no idea how I got a hold of this one. I was extremely, extremely lucky uh, to get it from Funimation's website. Um, I'll tell you the story on that when we go to open box. And then I also have um, this. It was a $20 mystery box uh, on Chrono Toys. I think this is the first purchase I've made from them. Uh, but they do they do mystery boxes. There was like this. It was a Christmas clearance, slightly damaged box. Uh, $20, and I'm, I'm hoping that there's a grail in here. I haven't opened this yet, so I have no clue, no clue what it is. Um, but let's get on to the unboxing of these these videos. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys like these. I, I can't decide if I want to just put these into my nerd vlog lineup, or if I want to make just a Funko Pop unboxing, like, um, what do you call it, like playlist or series. Uh, I think I'm going to do the latter because... I have a ton of Funko Pops, and it would be a good series. Um, who should we do first? You know what, let's, let's go in order of when I kind of got them. Um, this is the Super Saiyan Vegito. Uh, that's a AAA anime exclusive. I believe I got, I was able to pick this up from Arconia anime or something to that effect. Um, let's open him up. All right, so here he is in all his glory. Uh, he. His colors also almost seem a little muted, um, but I like his pose. I like his like he's jumping or like he's flying. He's gonna punch you right in the gut. Uh, he does got his cool little earrings there, and then he's got the little hole on his back for the little stand, little stand to go into that fits in there snugly. Yeah, so you can sit on your shelf just like that. That is really cool. I dig that. Um, it's weird. Like he doesn't seem really bright and colorful like some of the other just Funko Pops in general do. Like, his shirt almost seems kind of, like, yellowish instead of, like, a bright orange. Uh, but he... he is pretty cool. He is neat. Um, I was happy to score a couple of these. I'll set him back there. Uh, up next is one of the, uh, the three, uh, GameStop exclusives, at least GameStop here in the United States. Um, other places in the world they won't have a sticker or their EB games up in Canada. Um, this is one of three. I still don't have the Gohan yet because he got delayed, which unfortunately was my, that's my favorite one. I want that one like super bad because of how freaking cool that one is. Um, but this guy, so this guy has one of the, so GameStop has like this Funko, whoop, let's see if it'll focus there. GameStop has this Funko Insiders Club. And I'm surprised that this one came with that sticker instead of the EB Games sticker. Or not the EB Games, but the GameStop sticker. Um, which is kind of interesting. And it's, it's kind of just like a mailing list that you can get on with GameStop. Alright. So here he is. So you see, he has some brighter colors, like that purple in his shoes. It's hard to tell in my video, but the, the color is a lot better. Um, his little head does turn. He's got his power pole on his back. I like the detail in his, uh, his tail. You can tell it's like it's got some fur to it. And then the Nimbus Cloud that he's sitting on, which is pretty neat. <clears throat> yeah, he was a cool one. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't put him in his orange key, because this one's pretty much the same as, I think it's this one up here that you guys can't really see, where he's like standing on the Nimbus Cloud. It's the same, same figure, just in a different pose. But that's what we get a lot here with Funko Pops, especially especially DBZ ones. Uh, up next is the GameStop exclusive Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I was super excited uh, when they showed this pop, because 
like the poses are just getting better and better. Uh, and he looks so freaking cool uh, in his pose there. So let's unbox him. Oh man, he's got some weight to him. God, look at that hair. Look at that hair. Uh, he is big. Uh, I love his Kamehameha pose. Um, it's very cool. Like that. Look at all that hair. That is a cool, really cool sculpt. Uh, I hope we can see some more Super Saiyan 3. Super Saiyan 3 Gokus uh, come out. Um, he's looking all mean. This mean he's ready to fire that Kamehameha wave at you. Would have been cool if they had put in like a little energy ball, like one of that that Master Roshi Funko Pop that's coming out. That's another one that I have on uh, that I'm waiting for. That's slightly delayed. Uh, he's really cool. Yeah, I think he's gonna be one of my favorite ones. Even though like Super Saiyan three is like <sighs> Super Saiyan three is a very very unused form. Up next is the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito. So another Vegito. Uh, I was I was happy to see that they didn't put him in the same exact pose as this Vegito. So uh, it was it was cool that they're like, okay, let's do a whole new whole new sculpt because they they do that a lot. Like if you've seen like Super Saiyan Vegeta up there in the the corner right where my finger is. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's like six different pops in that same exact pose. Six, I think I'm over exaggerating a little bit, but they did all the Vegeta Chrome ones in that pose. So this guy, he is pretty freaking cool looking. I love my favorite color is blue. So like Super Saiyan Blue is just my absolute like favorite form ever. Um, really cool metallic hair. Uh, he's got those. He's, he's got the uh, the Pataro earrings on. Uh, see his suit. His suit's a lot more orange than than this Vegito's. Like if we compare the two, like you could tell, you could tell that that I don't know the colors. The colors look really off. They look really off on this one. How I, can I get my face in there too? I don't know. Um, like the heads. The heads pretty much the exact same. It looks like. Yeah, the head is exactly the same, but the body is different, which is really cool. Oh my god, my dyslexic is not helping me. There we go. There we go. So the heads, the heads are the same. Uh, but the body, the body is really different. And yeah, Super Saiyan Vegito, his color is a bit off. Which is weird. Which is what I've kind of been reading. Uh, I think this, this by far is one of my favorite Funko Pops that I own. This is my first Super Saiyan Blue Funko Pop that I own. I know there's uh, Funko Pops of of Goku and Vegeta in their Super Saiyan Blue forms, and it's just ones I have not been able to acquire yet. Uh, you know, let's put them down here by Sailor Moon. Alright, on to probably what all you guys have been waiting for. I'm going to unbox the Flocked Beerus. So like I said before, I was incredibly lucky to get this guy. Uh, I'm so excited to have it. Um, it is, this guy's probably my first grail. I think I don't think I have any other Grails. Uh, I did, I did win uh, one of those Conan pops uh, over the summer, which at San Diego Comic Con it finally just got delivered. I won it online, which was really neat. Um, but this guy, um, I was so lucky to get because I, I got in like because I was careful and watching and following social media to when this guy dropped, um, and it dropped early. Like, hey, it's Black Friday, beers is coming, and then, like, hey, guess what? Like, Thursday or something, like, or Wednesday, and it, it like, dropped. Uh, but I got in, and uh, I, I got all the way into place order, like, finalize, you're done, place the order, good to go. Um, and it, like, canceled out. Like, it just, the whole website just timed out, it crashed. Um, and then I did that again. Uh, and it, it crashed again, so I thought I was, I was like, I kept trying and trying and trying, and then I saw on social media, like, oh, it sold out, sold out, sold out. I was like, well, I guess I'm not getting that one, that sucks, here we go again. Just another loss, and then, like, I checked my email an hour later, and it's like, hey, we got your order. I was like, what? Hell yeah! Uh, but let's, uh, let's open this guy up. So I was, I was so happy to, to get this guy. Um... And he's my, he's going to be, I'm pretty sure he's uh, like my first Dragon Ball Z Grail that I have. I don't think I really have any other um, Grail Funko Pops. 
I'm glad to get a legit version of this guy too, because like Beerus is one of the most faked Funko Pops that are out there. Oh man, he's so furry, he's so furry. Check him out. So he's got the same pose as all the other Beeruses that are out there. This is just the same exact uh, uh, model, uh, except this one is flocked, and he is really cool. So he's flocked uh, everywhere there's purple. It's, it's furry. So he's got his arms banned, and then this is feels like normal plastic. Good kitty. Good kitty. Oh, look at his little tail. Look at his tail. Look at that tail. God, he's so cool. I'm so happy to have him. I'm really happy to have this guy. My first Beerus. My first Beerus as well. So I don't have any other Beerus. Is, is, is. Um, I know there's a normal Beerus and there's a metallic Beerus. And I want both of those too. And of course, like Weiss, there's a metallic Weiss also. I got so close to getting that one. I got so close to getting some of the other, like, the Chrome Vegetas that came out last summer as well. And I just, I just barely missed it. Just barely missed it. All right, time to see what's in this. I am super excited to see uh, what's in this. Um, I need a knife or something. I hope I at least get something worth 20 bucks. That's what I'm, I'm hoping for in this guy. Uh, or, if there's a fucking freaking, like, uh, Majin Vegeta in here, it'd be even better. I'm so hopeful. I'm hopeful. I get something cool. Well, I do see. So I see a I see a fall convention exclusive right there. I can't tell what it is yet. Well, it looks like a it's a gold marble. Yeah, not bad. Not one I collect, but a cool Funko Pop. So, um, Shuri, Shuri, but it's it's got a cool box. I like the gold up there on the box. Oh, can I, should I unbox this one? Let's unbox this one too. Might as well. Oh, it's a bobblehead one. I didn't realize it was a bobbly head. What? Bobbly head. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, she's like, she's super smooth. Ooh, there's like weird, there's some paint drips on her face. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can kind of see that on the screen there. Uh, yeah. um, I like how like smooth it is. This is one of my first like metallic ones too. I think because I don't think I have any other metallic ones. So this guy's hey, pretty cool. I have a Funko Pop from Star Wars that's that is a bobblehead also. Yeah, this little her little uh, her braid here seems like really like. Like, I feel like that could break super easy. I don't. I honestly don't even know who this character is. Like, uh, that's how bad I am with Marvel. Like, I like Marvel. Like, I dig comic books. Um, but I have no idea who this character is. Shuri. Shuri is her name. Uh, let's check the Funko Pop price guide and see if we can find out what she. Whoa! Does she even stand? Yeah, there she goes. So, Funko Pop it's a price guide. Uh, you probably can't see. The the Funko Pop price guide website uh, says she's trading at about 13 bucks. So, kind of disappointing. If it was the one with the San Diego Comic Con sticker, it would have been, or New York Comic Con sticker, it would have been 23. <laughs> but, whatevs. Uh, I think it'll make, a, next time I go to a pop swap, it'll make for a awesome... Uh, awesome trade, possibly. Although that paint damage, that paint drip on her face, man. Like, that might, that might bother the serious Funko Pop collector, like, hardcore. But, we shall see. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked, please like and subscribe. And, of course, hit that notification bell so you get all my videos. Um, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite Funko Pop that I unboxed today. Um, and if there's a different one that was your favorite that I didn't unbox uh, that you got recently, let me know in the comments below too. Um, I'm assuming if you're watching this, you're probably a big Dragon Ball Z fan. What's your favorite Dragon Ball Z pop even? Um, yeah, let me know all that cool stuff in the comments down below. Until next time, guys, 
Please be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys next time. Logical high five.